Hi Matt here and welcome back to M2M. Yeah, I know it's been a while, but I've been suffering from something of a stubborn and brutal bout of the flu. But I'm more or less better now and back with a new series. And I'm calling it Myths and Misconceptions About Space. So how many is there going to be? Well, let's see how it goes and let's see what it brings us. So let's cue the music and get into number one. Number one, black holes suck. Black holes have a gravitational pull so strong that not even light can escape their clutches. They often drain the life out of stars, ripping away layers of gas and shredding the component atoms. They are often portrayed as vast cosmic vacuum cleaners capable of clearing away huge areas of space. But the black holes of, black holes of science fact and science fiction are really not quite the same. In reality, black holes behave almost exactly like any other massive object in the universe. The speed required to escape the gravitational pull of an object, whether it's a planet or a black hole, is known as the escape velocity. For an object like the Sun, with a modest gravitational pull, an object only needs to travel at a speed of 384 miles per second to escape. If this speed can't be achieved, the object will fall back down towards the surface of the Sun. At the event horizon of a black hole though, even something travelling at the speed of light, almost 186,000 miles per second, would not be fast enough to escape and the only option would be to continue inwards. The further away an object you go, the lower the escape velocity and far enough from the event horizon, black holes behave just like stars. Objects passing far enough away and at high enough speed are in no danger of being pulled into the centre. If the sun will be just swapped with a black hole of the same mass today, in theory, Earth and the rest of the planets would continue to orbit as normal. Well, that's all from me from today. Until next time, take care.